The first reason why I'm living in Querétaro, Mexico as an American is the perfect year-round climate. With the latitude of Hawaii and an elevation that's a bit higher than Denver, Colorado, comes perfect weather all year long. The coldest month of the year is January with an average high of 72 degrees Fahrenheit, and the hottest month of the year is May with an average high of 85. Number two is safety. I wanted to live in Mexico, but I also wanted a safe place to live. Querétaro is one of the safest cities in the country with a homicide rate of just eight murders per 100,000 residents which, in terms of serious crime, makes it safer than where I was living before, Phoenix, Arizona, which has a homicide rate 50% higher at 12 people per 100,000 population. Number three is the cost of renting a home here. We're renting a large 3,500 square foot, three bedroom, three bath home with great views in a nice neighborhood in a gated community for $1,500 a month. Now it's been a while since I've lived in the US, but after a bit of online house hunting, I learned that it would take about $4,500 to get a similar home where I used to live in Arizona. So renting here costs just one third of what it costs in Phoenix. Number four is that it's a historic city. You have ancient history with the pre-Hispanic pyramid on the southern end of the city known as El Cerrito, which dates back to the year 400. But then you have more modern history as well. The city as we know it today was founded by the Spanish in the year 1531. So in the historic city center, you have gorgeous, well-preserved facades. And in addition to that, you have a massive aqueduct built 300 years ago that stretches more than a kilometer across the city. Number five is that it's also very modern. The same day you visit the Hurikia Hacienda dating back to the year 1707, you can drive 10 minutes and visit modern shopping malls such as Antea Lifestyle Center, which is the biggest mall in all of Latin America. It features shopping for all budgets, including many stores that you'll see in typical U.S. malls, but it also has very high-end shopping options like Hugo Boss, Yves Saint Laurent, and Louis Vuitton. Now, after you blow through your life savings at the mall, you can head next door to City Market, the fanciest grocery store I've ever seen in my life, where you can purchase a $10,000 bottle of wine and wet Wagyu steak that sells for more than $500 a kilo. Now, don't get me wrong, not everything is super expensive because the sixth reason is the affordable cost of living. You can go out to eat and have a cheap dinner such as tasty tacos and a drink for two people for $10 total. The US equivalent of this might be going to Chipotle where you're looking at $30 for two burritos and two drinks. Or you can go to a fancy restaurant and have a great steak dinner for half the price that it would cost you in the US. You can hire a full-time live-in cook, housekeeper, and nanny for $600 dollars a month, whereas in the U.S. you might be paying $1,000 per kid per month just for daycare five days a week. And after spending $3,000 a month for your three kids daycare in the U.S., you still have to clean your own house and cook your own food. In the U.S., your cell phone bill might be $70 a month. Here, it's going to be 10 or 15 bucks. In the U.S., it might cost you $75 for an hour-long massage. Here, that'll probably be about $30. If you want to go to the movies with your partner and get a popcorn and a drink, here in Querétaro, it's about $15 total, whereas that might be $40 dollars in the United States. Number seven is the amazing food. Of course, there's excellent Mexican food, but there's also a huge variety of foods from all over the world. And eating out isn't too expensive, so we can do it pretty often without breaking the bank. For example, some of our favorite restaurants here in Querétaro include an African restaurant owned by a Nigerian, a Korean restaurant owned by a Korean, and an Indian restaurant owned by an Indian. It's incredibly diverse with people and food from all around the world. The eighth reason I live in Querétaro are the short, cheap flights to destinations all around Mexico. You can find round trip plane tickets to many beach destinations around the country for about $100 each. For example, I like to book the direct flight to Puerto Vallarta where I'm at the beach after just an hour and 15 minute flight. And you can travel to all of these destinations around the country without ever crossing a single international border. And not being subject to international customs takes a lot of the frustration and headaches and anxiety out of traveling. Number nine are the nearby vineyards. Within an hour's drive, you can arrive at countless vineyards and cheese producers, which makes for awesome day trips in which you barely have to leave the city. You can spend the day relaxing in the vineyard while enjoying the nature, a nice bottle of wine, and a cheese plate, all for less than $25. Number 10 is the city's amazing location. Querétaro is located in almost the exact geographical center of the country, so you can get to many awesome destinations quickly. Mexico has about 130 of these towns that they call Pueblos Magicos, which translates to magic towns. I've been to a bunch of them and have never been disappointed. They usually get the designation of a 
Pueblo Magico because of their rich history and culture or breathtaking nature. Most of these towns are super pretty and really awesome to visit. Within three or four hours driving from Queretaro, there are approximately 30 of these magic towns that you can visit, and some of them are only an hour away. I highly recommend that you check out as many as possible. For example, this one that we recently went to called Huasca de Ocampo in the state of Hidalgo is breathtaking. Number 11, the city is very walkable if you're in the right neighborhood. You can't walk from one end of the city to another because it's too large of a city for that, but there are quite a few neighborhoods where you can live where most necessities will be within walking distance or just a short bike ride away. A few of these include Jardines de la Hacienda, Lomas del Marquez, Centro, and Alamos. Number 12, the city is super clean. I've traveled all around Mexico and Querétaro is probably the cleanest city I've been to. There's very little trash on the ground, the garbage men come by almost daily, and there isn't much tagging throughout the city either. Number 13, Querétaro is big enough to have all the conveniences of a big city. For example, it's large enough to have five golf courses, big box stores like Costco, Sam's Club, Walmart, and Home Depot. You also have many restaurants and stores that you'll find in the US and Canada, such as Chili's, Buffalo Wild Wings, HEB, Tim Hortons, and Denny's, to name a few. But at the same time, you have all those conveniences. It's not such a big city that it's so overwhelming. You also don't have the awful pollution that you'll see in the huge metro areas such as Guadalajara and Mexico City. Number 14, the city is visually appealing. You have the gorgeous city center and you also have the massive aqueducts and you have quite a few nice parks around the city as well. In addition to all that, you also have many really pretty neighborhoods around the city that would make a great place to live. Number 15 is a super high speed and affordable internet. Almost everywhere in the city, you're going to have access to fiber optic internet and you can get speeds of 300 megabits for about $35 a month or 1,000 megabits for $75 a month. Next, watch this video where I answer the question, can you live in Mexico on social security?